<laughs> I can tell these brows are not going anywhere. Welcome back to a new vlog. I just wrapped up the last one, so starting a new one. Um, I just opened a PR package and I put on this sweatshirt from it. So this is from Wild Fox. It's super cute. It's an oversized fit because I know they only go up to like a larger and extra large, but they have a lot of oversized things. This is a size large and it's got a lot of wiggle room. It's super, super soft and comfy. And then I also sent this one. It's got a heart with like mountains road trip vibes it is very comfy though very soft drinking an energy drink it's nine o'clock i've been up since 6 45 <laughs> don't know why but i am currently in the middle of opening packages and i'm like i may as well just start a vlog also i do want to let you guys know over on my instagram i'm doing a giveaway today so um my necklaces this is like the combo i've been layering like every day lately this longer chain with a y charm and uh, the gothic A charm, if you can see it, um, for me and my husband. And then also this charm and the chains, everything's from Miranda Fry. So the details will be over on my Instagram right now. You guys can enter to win a $200 Miranda Fry credit, do some shopping, I love their jewelry. This is my favorite bracelet here that I legit never take off. It's fat wrist friendly. It's so cute. This is the Fashion Jackson, the little beaded one. Like literally never take it off. <laughs> the quality is so good. I wear it in the shower, everywhere. So I'm excited. We're gonna go to Ulta today. I have something that I need to pick up and I was like, I haven't been inside of an Ulta in so long. Like I've done a couple curbside pickups for things I needed, um, but I don't think I've been in an Ulta in like a year. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I don't, I really don't think I have. So. We're gonna go to Ulta together. But first, I really need to, why am I so confused right now? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna open some PR packages just to uh, clear out. We have like a little corner in our mudroom where we put packages and it's getting a little, little too high. So um, first we have something here from First Aid Beauty. I love First Aid Beauty. I've been using their KP Bump Eraser Scrub for like Claris Polaris, I think it's called. Like the tiny red bumps people get in their arms and it's helped so much. And they're based in Massachusetts, where I am from. Oh my God. This is like fate. Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. I've literally been using Niacinamide for like the last month, the one from The Ordinary, and it's awesome. So this is so exciting. So it's really great for like dark spots if you're more acne prone. Um, help reduce the look of dark spots, sunspots, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, and post acne marks with no irritation. It's available at Ulta.com, Sephora.com, Versibuta.com. Oh, and it's available in stores starting in January 2021. That's how long I've had this. It was on the websites back in December, but that's okay. I am so hyped um, because literally I've been using this now, this uh, niacinamide, and it's really great. Okay, so they sent some of their facial radiance pads. Uh, these, these, and the Pixie Glow Tonic are my two favorite toners. I love these toning pads. Um, I've used a bunch of different kinds from First Aid Beauty of their little pads. And then the Pixie Glow Tonic, those are like the two toners I've used for years. So um, I'm pretty excited that they sent another one because I'm out exfoliating, toning, and brightening. And then here is the Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. Even that skin tone, I'm so excited. Because to be honest, I was gonna pick up another Niacinamide today at Ulta from The Ordinary um, because I'm already like halfway through it because I use it every single morning. Um, you know, jars are small. So I was gonna pick up another one, but now I don't have to. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, First Aid Beauty. So excited. I'm so excited about this package. Um, agape candles are some of my absolute favorite, favorite candles. And they, I think they saw me buying them a while back and uh, ended up offering to send me some, which was so, so sweet. The winter collection they had sent was chef's kiss, so good. Oh, they were a little card. Oh, 
This is so cute. Hi, Alex. We hope these new candles bring you joy and inspiration. Keeps shining, sis, from Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. This is so cute. Their candles are just like so great. Um, they smell amazing. They're like aesthetically pleasing. So we have three new candles. All right, so first up here, don't you just like love the packaging? I just love like the minimal look here so pretty they're hand poured in california it's 100 percent soy wax this scent is called playa the beach mm. oh my god that smells so good i can't even describe what that smells like it's not like a typical like beachy smell maybe like i feel like it smells like tropical flowers <laughs> if that makes any sense okay next we have black fig and honey oh my god that's like such a yummy sweet smell, but it's not like overpowering. Cause I'm very particular with sweet smell, <laughs> sweet smelling candles. They either are hit or miss for me. Cause when they're too sweet, it's like, <clears throat> but that is perfect. Duchess, ooh, regal. Oh my, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Wow. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to burn them. So next I grabbed a couple things from ASOS the other day. I shared on my Instagram stories uh, that they were having a sale. They were doing 20% off the app. And anytime ASOS is having a sale, I'm like, I'm just gonna grab a couple things because they don't often have sales, but I feel like they do on the app more lately. ASOS is one of like my go-to shopping destinations. They have amazing um, plus size selection. They have great wide feet shoe collections. Um, and I love them. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I always post on stories like when places are having good sales. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't order a ton, but there's only two things here. So I'm guessing they did separate packaging. So I'll just show you guys what came in this package and I'll probably post some pics wearing them. I need, I want to start doing more shoots as the weather gets warmer. I mean, it's still like the dead of winter, but I miss like going out and shooting outfits safely alone, socially distanced, away from the world. Uh, but these shoes, so, so good. They're like mule heels. And don't get me wrong, we're not going anywhere. I know, but <laughs> sometimes you just need to add a sick heel to your wardrobe in hopes that the pandemic will be over by the end of summer, baby. <laughs> Regardless, uh, I'm gonna take some cute ass pictures in these. Seriously, y'all, even if you're not going anywhere, most days I look like this, <laughs> but some days you just need to like put on, put on a cute ass outfit, put your camera on 3x speed. Do you guys know that TikTok or did I just make no sense? But like I was saying, ASOS has a ton of like wide foot shoes. Let me make sure these fit. That are like super trendy and like actually fashion forward and that are actually wide oh hell yeah i will warn you though so asos carries like a bunch of different brands um and like some run different than others but the asos brand runs pretty true to size or even a little big i also grabbed some relaxed fit mom jeans high-waisted with a rolled ankle they're gonna be so cute again stay tuned on instagram i'll be posting <laughs> All right, and our last package. Sorry if you're bored. Um, I got a package from General Mills. We got some, some cereal. I'm intrigued. I think, I don't know if General Mills was who sent it, but I got like this PR package with Dunkaroo cereal last week, including like uh, this new version of Dunkaroo's classic. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I feel old, um, where it has yogurt instead of frosting. Ooh. Ooh, I think we have new, oh my God, chocolate strawberry Cheerios. Baba. -ba. Yeah. They sent chocolate strawberry Cheerios. What? He's running, he loves Cheerios. They sent chocolate strawberry Cheerios. <laughs> Does not look wow, good? It's very Valentine's. It's very Valentine's-y. Like chocolate covered strawberries. And then they sent another. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Pikachu. That's Berry so cool. Bolt. It looks like it's gonna kind of maybe taste like um, Captain Crunch. Yes. You know? Oh my God, these are so freaking fun. Thank you so much, General Mills. You love Cheerios, so I think you're gonna love these. He like has been addicted to the cinnamon Cheerios. Blastoise. 
I want to see all these. Wow, see, they got the OG Pokemons too. It's like nowadays I don't even know like half of them. They have Charmander. No, these are the water types. Oh. Ooh. Mmm. Yum. I want it. That is good. But I came for my coffee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to Ulta. <laughs> okay, I am in the car. So. This is a new car. Um, this is my husband's car. This is Yarman's car. Um, he traded in his car last week. And I really like this car, <laughs> so I'm driving it. It was blocking my car, but I really like this car. I really like the brown uh, interior. It's very pretty. So um, I just went ahead and ran some errands. I went to the bank, the post office, and then I had an Amazon return I dropped off at Kohl's. And we just got to Ulta. So ultimately, the main reason I'm here is to get Yarman's uh, Valentine's Day gift. So I already got him a couple like personalized things on Etsy. Um, and there's just like one last thing from Ulta that I want to get. So let's go. I might get a couple things for me too. I just really want to try that Anastasia brow freeze. I see everyone doing it on TikTok and it looks so dope. Um, let's just poke around. Let's see what they got. I haven't been in an Ulta in so long. I feel like I'm so behind. They have KKW Beauty here. I didn't know. I kind of want to try this foundation. It comes with a free brush too. Let me try to find my shade. They have a good range. I also want to get a little continuous setting mist. They're so good and I haven't had one in forever. All right, so I definitely want to get some more body scrub. This is the lotion I'm using right now. I'm obsessed with Silk and Glory lately. They're so good. If you guys are dry, I really like this brand. I have a few of their products. They're very good, like hand lotion and cream for your lips too. Oh my God, Millie Bobby Brown has a makeup line. What? I had no idea. This is so fun. She's so cute. out some lashes these like naked drama or luxe extensions to look like lash extensions are stunning definitely got some stuff to show you guys all right guys i think we should go do a haul in the car so i'm pretty hyped because i actually had a couple products that i did want to try for you guys so it's got a lot so i haven't been to an ulta in so long like I said besides curbside pickup but it's so different when you go in the store and you get to like actually look around and see what's new and I just I love poking around in Ulta just because they have like the more affordable brands not all just high-end so we've got a lot to play with and I also feel like I'm kind of through that phase right now with quarantine where like you know, I haven't worn a ton of makeup, but like now I just want to play with makeup. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, which is a good feeling though, because it's so much fun. So I got some things from Morphe. I have used a couple Morphe products in my time. I feel like I'm so off the bandwagon here. Like everyone loves Morphe. So I got some things to try. Um, first, I got this Complexion Pro face palette here. It's called Fair Play. Well, in the shade Fair Play, they had um, a few different shades. I just really want to look at this because like the testers of everything were covered with saran wrap, of course. Um, so I kind of just want to, <laughs> kind of want to feel it. Ooh. Oh, this looks so nice. Like it just, it looks so good and it has a nice big mirror. It's got bronzer, brightener, contour, blushes, two different highlighters. Um, although I'm not traveling, I feel like this would be like a great kind of travel palette just because it has everything. You know, brightening, contour, bronzer, highlighter, blush. Like, it's the whole thing. So, uh, I'm very excited to play with this. Um, I've also never had a Morphe eyeshadow palette. Like, who is she? I don't know. Um, have I? I don't think I've ever had one. And they're so popular. Uh, and they're such a great value. I just smacked it against the steering wheel. 
So I got this palette here. Um, this is the Natural Nature Glow, not natural, Na Nature Glow 350. And it's huge. We've got so much beautiful nude colorage going on here. Oh, oh my god, this is what my dreams are made of. So much taupe, so much camel, so much brown. So like just such a me palette and it's got like a ton of matte. A couple shimmers if I'm feeling saucy or spicy. Uh, so I got that. <laughs> we will test it out and see if it lives up to the hype. Because I feel like Morphe eyeshadow palettes are so popular. Um, this is my man's gift. So I discovered um, Kish. Kitsch. Kish. Uh, this website, I discovered them like, I think on an Instagram ad, per usual, uh, a few months ago. And I ended up finding like so many fun accessory beauty things that I didn't even know I needed. Like I wear this gold hair clip from them every day. I use this like post shower microfiber hair scrunchie every day. I think that was the ad, but they have such like fun stuff like that. And I literally was looking the other day cause I had a coupon, but I didn't end up buying anything, but I loved these on the site, these masks, but it's got like two leopard print ones and a black one. Um, it's so stinking cute. So, love that. I got so many lashes, like just so many lashes because even on the days where I'm not wearing like a lot of makeup or no makeup, sometimes it's nice to just throw on some lashes. Some lashes, a little brow cream and some lip gloss and I just feel, did I say brow cream? I meant like brow gel, what? I'm pretty sure I showed in the store when I was looking at these, um, but Kiss is lit. Like Kiss had so many beautiful lashes. Um, I got a couple from Ilure, but the ones I was most excited about were these. So they're the Kiss Lash Couture Lux Extensions. The ultimate lash extensions look, whoa, like these are, I don't know if it shows on camera, but they're so long <laughs> and they have, um, the same like different curl levels as when you get lash extensions. They're like super extra, but like I'm kind of here for it. I kind of want to throw those on. Um, and then I got... These Naked Drama lashes from the same brand, Lash Katua, um, in the shade, in the shade, am I okay? In the style Chiffon, so gorgeous, like just so gorgeous. Then we got another Lux Extensions in Royal Silk, so pretty. Yeah, the Lash Extension ones are my most excited pair here. We got these in Tool all like pretty fluffy and then we have two from ilore um so these these were like they weren't like super expensive but they were like pricier than like your average drugstore lash um but they're supposed to have over 15 wears and it did come with an adhesive but i just i loved this like flared out look it just makes your eye look so big and like they're the perfect amount of wispy and the band looks thin it just it looked like a pair that I would really like. <laughs> and then I grabbed uh, this three pack of the Lux Silk Lashes here. These are called Marquise. So I got a few things to keep in my purse um, because I didn't know they made these. I did not know they made mini MAC lipsticks. If you guys didn't know, I used to work for MAC. I worked for MAC for a few years. Um, and I will always love these two lipsticks. So when I saw them at the checkout, I'm like, I have to. I got Ruby Woo and a Velvet Teddy. They're so stinking cute. Like I haven't even opened it yet, but I can just tell it's gonna be so cute. Oh, it's so teeny. It's like the size of my pinky-ish. Yeah, so cute. Um, perfect just for touching up. If you haven't found like the perfect red yet, try Ruby Woo. It looks universally good on everyone. It's like blue toned, it makes your teeth look white. And I love Velvet Teddy for a nude. And then I also got a Better Than Sex Mascara, a mini size. I love having like mini size things in my purse for like touch ups. And then I also got a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, small as well. So these are going to be like my touch up pieces in my purse because I can't tell you how many times I'm like, oh, I wish I just had a little concealer. I wish I could just put on a little mascara or like touching up lipstick. It's just like, this is perfect. 
So I got a hairspray. Um, I needed one that was a bit more flexible because I'm out of my last one I was using. So I got this one from Dry Bar. It's the Money Maker Flexible Hold Hairspray. And I've heard really good things. It's got soft, movable hold, um, never stiff or sticky, it says. So I'll let you guys know how it is. I've only used a few Dry Bar products in my time, but everyone loves them. Everyone loves this. So I'll let you know. You guys know if you've been an OG, I love ColourPop's highlighters, particularly Flexitarian is the most blinding freaking highlight ever, and they're such a great price point. So I ended up getting another one. I'm actually almost out of Flexitarian. I thought about getting one of those, but I'm like, I'm going to switch it up. So I got the shade Stole the Show. The one that I had before Flexitarian was more like white, a little pink undertone. This one almost seems a bit more of a yellow. Oh, they're so creamy. Like, they're so creamy, it's crazy. The woman in her car just got in, and she's probably like, what is this girl doing? Oh, they're like, they're just like blinding. So this one's a lot more of a gold, slightly yellow undertone, which isn't normally my vibe, um, but it's like fair enough where I don't think it will show up, um, like, where you can kind of see it when you're not, you know what, it, it looks like darker than your skin. I don't know, I've had that issue a couple times, but this is stunning. I think it'll look really good. We are gonna try the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation at some point later in this vlog. Medium to full coverage. It's got a filter effect. It's supposed to create like a soft focus look on your skin. It has hyaluronic acid in it for skin smoothing, moisture boosting effects, vitamin E antioxidant, and glycerin for a hydrating healthy glow. And it did come with a free foundation brush, which is cool. Um, oh my god, so when I was checking out, you guys know I'm like addicted to sugar scrubs lately in the shower, and I recently finished mine from Shea Moisture, and I ended up buying this one because I was looking around for a long time trying to find a body scrub that wasn't like super overpriced because I'm like, look, it's like sugar. <laughs> sugar and like oil. You can make you can make a great sugar scrub at home, but I don't know. I just wanted to pick one up. So I ended up grabbing this one from Tree Hut Tahitian Vanilla Bean Shea Sugar Scrub. It smells absolutely phenomenal, and when I was checking out, the cashier told me that these have been selling out because of TikTok. What do we know? I'm really glad I'm not the only one who's, like, ridiculous buying things because of TikTok, because it's, like, TikTok's great because it's, like, a PSA to the world, like, yo, this product's amazing, go buy it, and then it's sold out for, like, a month. <laughs> so, uh, I did not know that this was viral on TikTok. Somehow, I missed that, and she said that she's been having a hard time even finding them, and they have a couple left, so I'll let you guys know how this is. Apparently, it's amazing. I'm excited. I love me the sugar scrub. I grabbed the Anastasia Brow Freeze Styling Wax. It's so freaking popular right now. I saw that, God, it's Michaela something on TikTok. She's also from Massachusetts, and um, she just did a video that I saw. So this is the packaging. It's stunning. It's like rose gold. But the cool thing is it's totally clear, completely. Like, it looks like there's nothing in here. It's so crazy. So we'll have to try that. I grabbed a new beauty blender. So right now I have been using the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge and it's so good, so good. Um, but there's just something about a beauty blender, like that fluffiness to it, that like low density. I just, oh, it's been a minute since I've had a fresh beauty sponge. I ended up grabbing a Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I didn't get the mini, I got the full size because I really love this. Oh my God, I also, I was going down memory lane today. I got one of my OG favorite lip products, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I love this so much, it's so good. Do you guys remember back when I had this? The first one I got, I think was called Prague. It was such a pretty, like, maroony color, I think. But I ended up getting the shade Athens. It's a really pretty nude. I'm so excited to use it. It's been too long, and I got a lip liner to go with it in Need Me. And let's wrap up this haul with a brush haul here. <laughs> Look, I know. It's been too long. It's been too long. I also have been dying to replace my makeup brushes for a while. As you guys know, 
You guys know my favorite powder brush? The handle's been broken off of it for like months and I've just been like using the end of it because I love it. But um, it was definitely time for like a brush upgrade. So I got a bunch of affordable brushes from e.l.f. and Morphe. e.l.f. has great brushes. Like you don't need to spend a fortune on brushes because they've really stepped up their game with e.l.f. Um, I got the Precision Airbrush Blender. Uh, I got the Flawless Face Brush. I got a new um, Eyebrow Duo Spoolie and uh, Angle Brush set. Then for Morphe, we have a fan brush for highlighter. We've got like a pointed, uh, like smaller tapered blush brush. A large powder brush, time to replace the broken one. An eyeshadow blender, um, a contour brush, an under eye sweeper. Great for wiping away your baking. This was the free brush that I got with the foundation, the Filter Effect Foundation Brush. Got a little oval shadow brush. Then we have a, um, it's called a highlighter brush. You can do your highlight with it. Sometimes I feel like doing my highlighter with this rather than a fan brush. Depends on the day. You can use, you can use brushes for anything though. Like, don't think just because this one says like firm blending fluff brush, you can't do anything else with it. Like, I think makeup really isn't one size fits all, but like, you know, there's suggestions, but you can use makeup and makeup brushes and tools for whatever you want. So we got um, a fluffy brush here, then a mini concealer brush to clean up the brows, uh, a smudge brush, great for under the eye, and we've got a pointed blender brush and a firm shadow brush. And that's pretty much everything I need for brushes. I don't need a ton of brushes. I know that probably seems like a lot, but it's like one for everything. Sorry, I'm moving my seat back up here. So that's everything I got. I know, ridiculous haul here, but I'm excited to play with it for you guys and let you know how everything is. All right, y'all. It is officially the next day and I just worked out, washed my face, I'm feeling ready to uh, try this new makeup that we got. All right, <laughs> I'm so excited. I already went ahead and dampened my beauty blender. Ooh, y'all know, and if, if you know, you know. Look at her Instagram. This was a gift from one of my best friends for Christmas. Wait, I should, <laughs> cause this is aggressive. I should like take everything out that I'm gonna use first. Hang on one second, cause I don't want you guys to hear rappers for like 15 minutes. All right, I am back. And I just opened all of our new brushes. Oh my God, I think I showed you guys this yesterday from uh, Lano. This is the Lano Lips. Throw this on. Also, you may hear the birds in the backyard, but honestly, like I find it kind of soothing. Like it's kind of just gives me like spring vibes, even though it's 20 degrees. <laughs> I opened all of our brushes. I'm so excited. I, mm, I think I wanna do the Anastasia brow freeze first because I don't wanna have like a foundation all up in my brows when I try this for the first time. So let's go ahead. I still, I need to show you guys again. I just like can't get over how cool this product is. And yes, I definitely have seen people say, you know, you could just use bar soap or the got to be hairspray, but I just wanna see how this is. So you don't need to use a lot. I'm just gonna dip my spoolie and I'm gonna kind of like twirl it on the back of my hand so there's not too much product. So I'm just gonna brush the hair. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this looks how they look when you, uh do the like brow hair perming at home. <gasps> Whoa, this literally looks exactly how they look when I perm them. Wow, this is amazing. This is so good. <laughs> and a little really goes a long way. <laughs> like look how much, <laughs> look how much bigger it is. I'm just gonna like sweep the other hairs. Wow, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I can't tell if this is like, I mean this, I was gonna say, I can't tell if this looks good or bad, but like, I feel like once your makeup is done, it's gonna look sick. I'm impressed. I kinda didn't, oh my god. I kinda didn't really expect it to like be this good. I can tell these brows are not going anywhere. Why is this so funny to me? But I feel, I do feel like when I pencil the rest of them in, they're gonna look sick. What do we think? Either way, this product is fire fire like you really could make your brows look 
so much more full. And I mean, if I wanted to, like I could trim them when they were all the way up, but let's see, let's continue. This really does freeze your brow hair in place. I'm just gonna throw on a little Urban Decay All Nighter Primer because we're gonna go ahead and try that Morphe foundation. And I wanna give it a fair chance with the primer. This is the primer I've been using for the last like month or two. It's got great grip if you, um, Trying to find good like mask primer. Okay, so I hope that I got the correct shade for this. I got the shade Filter Light number six. Uh, I already described, you know, the claims when we did our little haul, so I won't bore you, but I am excited to see if it gives me that filter effect like it's supposed to. And of course, I will link everything below that I am using. So here is what it looks like. The packaging is like matte. Uh, filter effect soft focus foundation medium to full coverage and uh, Pretty simple. So I think first I will try it with the brush that it came with and then maybe we'll also try it with the beauty blender. So it's Definitely not runny But it's also not like super thick. I don't like applying foundation with brushes. It's it's a rare day. Like, I just feel like it always looks streaky. I feel like I get way more coverage with a sponge. I'm already just like, no, thank you. No, thanks. This is where I thrive. <laughs> like, already so much more coverage. The color looks pretty good, blending into my neck. So, first impressions. It feels really good on the skin. It's very light. Like, it doesn't feel like I have anything on, which is always nice. The coverage is definitely medium to full. Like, it's not, like, super sheer where I see everything. Right now, I have a couple blemishes on this side of my face, so you can kind of see them. You know, it's not, like, super full. We'll cover everything. Oh, I'm so glad this color worked out. Like, I feel like that's a really good match. Like, I still see a little bit of redness coming through because um, I definitely have redness on my face. So I'm just gonna apply a little more, kind of see if it's buildable. But yeah, okay, it's looking like it's buildable. It's like layering nicely. It's not like getting chunky. On like my forehead where I don't really have any problem areas right now, I feel like it looked great with just one layer, but it is nice that on your problem areas, you can build it up. It again, feels super light. It definitely has like a loomy natural finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop on a little concealer. This one is from Juvia's Place in the number 23. I am really impressed though with the way the foundation feels like, sorry to be a broken record, but it really feels like I've got nothing on my skin. And as you guys know, I am oily though. So I will do a check-in tonight and let you guys know how it wore. I won't do any touch-ups, so we'll see if I'm like a total grease ball by the end of the day because it does have like glycerin and hyaluronic acid for the glow, but like that could be a nightmare for an oily gal like me. But looking at it up close, it does sit nicely on the skin because I do have a couple, like I'm in that state right now where like some parts of my skin are kind of dry from the winter, but overall I do get oily. So looking at it up close, it's not clinging to any of my dry patches. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right, I'm just gonna throw a little Huda Beauty baking powder under my eyes. All right, so for the brows, I also got this Morphe Brow Cream in the shade Hazelnut. And I'm gonna just take that angled brush and kind of just fill in any sparse areas because oh, this color looks really pretty. Uh, <laughs> this is the e.l.f. brush, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, but because I do have like some sparse spots I just want it to look a little better. Wow, that brow freeze is crazy. Like, I cannot get over it. Like, I bar I do barely have to fill them in. I am gonna clean them up with concealer. These made my brows thick. I'm just gonna do some little brow strokes in the front. All right, I just cleaned them up with a little concealer because they were like wild. Like, the brows were wild and <laughs> But overall, I do actually think they look pretty snatched, in my opinion. Definitely like thicker than my usual lately. I know the brows are looking pulled, to say the least. That's okay. Trust the process. <laughs> Let's play with this Morphe Fair Play Skin Palette. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the bronzer. They have two different shades. 
One is a little lighter, one's a little darker. Let's start with the light one, just in case. I don't know how pigmented these will be. I will say that these Morphe brushes are feeling phenomenal. This is the M527. I'm gonna go in for the more medium shade. There she is. And right now we're just bronzing. We're not contouring, we're bronzing. Because winter is here to peak for my paleness. I feel like it's looking a little orangey. I know this is the bronzer, not the contour color, but it's a little, a little too warm, but I also kind of like it. I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna take the contour shade now with an M405 little contour brush, and I'm just gonna carve. Oh. Okay, so this, I tapped off a lot too. Oh my, oh my, oh my God. <laughs> what happened? Okay. That's better. Oh my God, what happened to the first one? I'm gonna take the excess. I'm gonna have to blend to the gods after this. My makeup is actually looking horrific right now. My nose is crumbling, crumbling. This, oh my God. I, oh, Morphe might be taking a turn. My nose, look how crusty, busty, dusty my nose is. Since I set the foundation with the powder, you know how some foundations on your nose when you set with powder get like crusty and crumbly? I'm getting the contour blended. If I used a really light hand, I actually think this contour side looks really beautiful once you really blend it and get it there. But I don't know, the foundation on my nose is just, oh my God, oh. This foundation, oh no, oh no. Look at it breaking up. <gasps> oh my God, guys, no. Oh yeah, this is not for me. This is for people who don't sweat and who are dry. I need to look up reviews on this. Is this what other people are doing? All right, so on the Morphe website, this has great reviews. I mean, it looks really pretty besides that though, but like the breaking up, like it's just, my skin is so finicky. Lately, it's just been like giving me problems with makeup, being dry, being oily, being sweaty. But I like me a foundation like the Double Wear where just like if you sweat, if you get oily, it's not going anywhere, nowhere. But we kind of recovered. I was able to just touch it up a bit. Take with that what you will. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead now and take the M530 brush and I'm gonna try this peachy blush from here. Ooh, that's pretty. This blush is gorge. I think um, I just wasn't prepared for how pigmented everything was gonna be. But now that I kind of have a little bit more of an idea, I actually think this is looking pretty. I'm liking this palette so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the M310 and use the lighter highlight here on the corner and just kind of see how it is. Hi babe. Yeah, I rearranged my office. <laughs> the filming situation just wasn't working. It wasn't working at all. Like being far away from my like makeup cabinet just didn't work. I love that. Yeah? You I like how it looks how in look here? It's gonna look. It's gonna look so like blurry in the back. Well, isn't it pretty too? Cause I added the pompous grass from our bedroom. Did you turn on the mic? Yeah, I turned on the mic. Okay, good. So I put it in a four. I could have put it lower because it might be a little loud. You think? Yeah, because were you speaking loud? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, I talk kind of loud when I film. Yeah. Should oh, I bring it down just in case? One. I mean, at this point, I don't think I'd want to lower the volume just so we can keep it all equal. Can you talk? I, I've i been talking like this at this volume. I've been talking like this at this volume. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, cool. Oh, you're recording. I'm sorry. It's I okay. I it's you okay. You're adorable. Free Britney! <laughs> Janelle got me this. <laughs> Isn't that iconic? Yes. <laughs> Yara is on, on board with the Free Britney movement. Um... Yeah, how are you doing? These are nice Morphe brushes. <laughs> I know about Morphe. Do you? They're like a makeup store, right? Yeah, I'm so proud. Ask about me, dog. <laughs> You're so cute, Bob. Them brushes are good value for the price. Holla at your boy. Do you listen to me? Well, all the time. Aww. I love you. I love you. I really like the highlight. It's super pretty. Like it's pretty blinding. 
It really is pretty. Um, but we can always go more. Uh, I really just wanna try on this um, ColourPop one in uh, Stole the Show. And I'm gonna use this other highlight brush, M532, to apply this one. Oh, I just know it's gonna be crazy. I just know it's, ah, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I just knew it would blind me. <laughs> I don't even, I just don't even know what to say. Color pop, you will always be one of the bays. We, we knew it would slay. We knew it would slay. We knew it would be like flexitarian, just a little different. Um, just gonna like blend it a little with the fan brush. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't, guys, I can't even like, I can't even stand it. Okay. Calm down. All right, I can't wait to play with this Morphe eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna throw on a little Urban Decay primer potion. Oh, and I can't wait to put on one of those Lux Stension lashes. Ooh, so thrilling. I'm still gonna do a check-in with you guys on the foundation at the end of the day, because I'm not gonna lie to you, I have a terrible feeling. But we'll see, I don't wanna prejudge, I don't know. Uh, the breakup on the nose is what's giving me stress. So let's go ahead and bust this bad boy open. <gasps> oh, I just, I can't, I can't stand it. My brows are just like killing me. I don't think they're gonna look normal until I have them like an intense lash <laughs> because that brow freeze made my eyebrows so much bigger. I'm just gonna do a little translucent powder before I do my eyeshadow. Don't know what kind of look I'm going for here. We don't, we never know. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Let's just start with this like vanilla shade on the eyelid. I hope you guys are enjoying the ASMR of the birds. <laughs> the most aggressive birds in Massachusetts. All right, with the M513, I'm just gonna grab like a light taupe and start off in the crease. Just a little transition color. I am definitely enjoying the brushes, I will say. I mean, I know Morphe brushes are extremely popular. You guys will have to let me know if you've tried this foundation yet. I mean, I think my skin, like I said, has just been being weird because like, remember that weird reaction I had with the e.l.f. CC camo cream thing? I know I wasn't supposed to apply it with a sponge, but like, that it just like, it did not work on my skin whatsoever. It was so weird. I'm just gonna slowly start to layer some darker shadows. This palette is absolutely beautiful though. I love the variety of like warm and cool, a good mix of matte and shimmer. And they blend out really well. They're nice, nice shadows. I definitely shouldn't be surprised because they're so popular. Oh, I just love a nude dimensional eye look. Like this is just what, where, this is my like home base here. <laughs> so pretty, so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. Yeah, these are lovely. These blend beautifully. This palette has a lot of good dark browns. I wish it just had one black, just one matte black. Okay, I'm really liking the shadows. Um, I'm gonna do some on the bottom lash line too with uh, an M508 brush. Just like a little on that outer lash line, taking the lighter taupey color right below it to soften and blend. Cause you guys know I love Eyeshadow looks that kind of pull out like that to make your eye look a little bigger. So nice, so pretty. So I'm just gonna keep blending. I need to do the other eye and I'm gonna throw on these lashes today. They're not like the longest, craziest ones, but they're just like really, really like curly. So these are the Royal Silk ones. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back with lashes on, they're still drying, so you might see a little few white spots, but oh my God, these are so, so pretty. I'm sorry, I'm still like geeking over that highlighter. And lastly, we're gonna finish up with the lip combo that I picked up, a NYX lip pencil in Need Me, and then the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Athens. The lip liner is super comfy. I went a little darker on the lip liner. Then the lip cream. Oh my God, I forgot how much I love this formula. It is so comfortable on the lips. Like you still get that matte effect without having to worry about drying. And it smells like vanilla. Oh, 
takes me right back guys i don't know what to do about the brows they're feeling way too intense they're stressing me out i'm like maybe i can just comb it out a little like they're just they're a lot they're a lot but what did i expect i guess my brow hairs are a little too long maybe i should have trimmed them i do like the overall makeup look though i mean i live for like a matte nude smoky eye nude lip i am very very disappointed with the way the foundation is breaking up this whole area is just not looking good it's not looking good i will check in though um later in the day tonight when i've had it on for like a decent amount of time to see if it gets a lot worse or if it kind of stays the same because if it stays the same it might just be because like i had a, like a little sweaty moment there um but it was already set so i feel like it shouldn't have just like broken up so quickly um so i don't know that's the makeup look but i will check back in later and give you guys an update wish me luck all right y'all update um uh, i've been doing some other work i just filmed a little fabletics try on haul for stories um this foundation is a choke for me but other people like it what's wrong with my skin like what is happening the level of breakage and crustiness is atrocious. It's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me. Um, let me know if you guys have tried it. I really don't know. <laughs> it just like came right off. I don't think it's for people who are oily. I don't. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I do love these lashes though. 10 out of 10 recommend. I did like the other products though. I do feel like the bronzer is a little orangey. I don't know. Ugh. What do you guys think? Let me know. Don't forget, go check out that giveaway on my Insta too, because that'll be up now. I love y'all. Bye.